Learning activities remained paralyzed in public universities as lecturers continue to keep off the lecture halls for the second week with students left to bear the brunt of the industry action. This comes as another attempt by the National Assembly Education Committee to end the strike flopped after the representatives of the Inter-Public Universities Council's Consultative Forum failed to present a crucial document showing the government's 4.3 billion shilling offer to lecturers, Emmanuel Toll reports. It has been the order of the day for the past two weeks now. As public university students left to their own devices feel the pinch of the lecturer's strike which has entered its second week. In Kisi University, for instance, lecture halls have remained empty with students forced to be their own teachers, resorting to group discussions to keep things going. It is the same script at the University of Kabianga in Kericho County. The gates here are closed and under tight security from police officers who have taken over to avert any security concerns from the striking dawns. Lakini tungependa kwamba serikali ika consider wale ma lecturers ambao walikuwa wametaka 9.7 billion ili waweze kurudi darasani. The situation is similar in the neighboring Bomet University. Students here, just like the rest of the comrades in other public universities, forced to resort to group discussions, while others chose to wait for their lecturers to pick up from where they left. We are just idle, and you know the, an idle mind is a devil's workshop. Eh? So we want them, at least the government should listen to their cry. Solidarity forever. It is this grim reality that forced the lecturers' union, the university's academic staff union, to engage its employer, the Inter-Public Universities Council's Consultative Forum IPUCCF, in trying to unlock the ampers with Dons telling the National Assembly Committee on Education that the 4.3 billion shillings offer by the IPUCCF was too little and a short end of the stick of the deal signed slightly over a month ago. As advised by the government, the three unions accept the Kenya shillings 4.3 billion as the funds available. Now they are telling us what the government has offered is 4.3. Let us try to fit it. I want to say whether you fit it like what. It cannot conform to the terms and provisions of the return to work formula. But even before the committee could negotiate for a middle ground, a spanner was thrown in the works. As it emerged, IPUCCF did not have documents proving the 4.3 billion shillings offer. He who comes to equity must come with clean hands. Chair, the 4.3 billion forms the backbone of this engagement. Chair, they have not provided any documents. And when this ministry official was committing was it minuted? Were the minutes signed? I can undertake to go and ask for that letter and come back to report because yeah. up to where we are, there has never been any written document of 4.3 billion. Every other time when you are signing a document, they always say the devil is in the detail. Make sure that you, are very, you scrutinize your document because right now we are back Yet this thing was over. The meeting ending even before it started with the IPUCCF directed to table documents by Tuesday next week. Emmanuel Toa, Citizen TV, Nairobi.